This ad is brought to you by Read More Comics, where you can find comic books, graphic novels, and more. I'm on the mission, the bomb was in, call me away. I'm on the time to carry the colors again. My motivation and no pass won't in the fan. To win the honor of coming back home again. No explanation will matter after we begin. I'm not the dark, destroy our lives, bury them then. My true vocation and I'm my unfortunate friend. You will discover my own war, you're on me. What is up guys, me again, and once again with my friend Anthony. Hello folks. And, and me, Anthony, our other friend Shane Collins, who sadly can't be here today. Yes, sadly cannot be here today. It is, at the fact, the big fact is, big fact is that we are NNA fans. Yes we are. The 90s. Yep. Okay. And to get started, and let's talk about, I know I've talked about Ed Andy before my show, but I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself, I mean, it's that good of a show. Yes it is, folks. Yes, yes it is, especially the Ed and Andy Big Picture Show. Yep. It lasted for 10 years, that's having 130 episodes, 4 specials, and a movie. Yes, yes. That's what Double D said, and Keith. Yep. And that kept, and well, also, we can't forget the last episodes, too. I'll talk about those in the future. But let's talk about NNA in general, shall we? NNA is a, can is a Canadian American an anime comedy television series created by Danny Tadachap and a t Anthony. Anthony. Yeah, Anthony. Yes. For Cartoon Network. Yes. And, the and six seasons. And the six seasons of, of the cartoon cartoons. Several revolutionary around the print. A team, but the series revolves around three pre teen boys named Ed, Ed with two D's. They call him Doldy and Eddie, just like the Three Stooges. Yes, in fact, in fact, the yeah, ads have pretty much the same similarities as the Three Stooges. I mean, three guys going on misadventures, and uh, uh, usually having good endings or bad endings. <laughs> Are the Ed's cases they have a lot of bad endings. All three are known as the Eds, who live in suburban cul-de-sac. Yes. In the fictional town of Peach Creek. Yes. Jawbreakers. I like chickens, Eddie. Yep. That, that's that's Ed, all right. Under under the leadership of Eddie, and the trio frequently invent in scams to to make money and for their. For them, from their peers, and to purchase their, their favorite, favorite candy, Jawbreakers! guys! And guess what, folks? I know where Eddie gets it from. He gets it from his older, delinquent brother. Eddie's, yep, Eddie's unnamed brother. That's where he learned it from, folks. Yep. Oh, I have to wonder, what is Eddie's brother's name? He never, they never told us. Yeah, they never did. They just say Eddie's brother. Yeah. Their plans usually fail, living with the, with them various, Various of often humiliating predicaments. Yes, they do. Don't toy with me, Eddie. I'll be shedding for weeks. You'll be, you'll be providing a lot of Ed Eddie quotes. Oh, it's, and it said, oh, and it also said that Danny and Mr. Atachi was originally actually doing cartoons for adults. But, uh, but then there was a bet that he couldn't make a. a Make that kind of style for her children. And would you know it? It did. That bet led us led us to here. Yes. Yeah. For the edge, it's been lasting for like ten years. Well, I already said that, but yeah, man, that's pretty impressive. And look, oh, and also he also he originally picked the idea for Nickelodeon. But like had Nickelodeon and turned it down in favor of like Cartoon Network. Or went on to, on to get out instead, and that's actually a good choice. I mean, I could imagine the Edge being on Nickelodeon. Can you? It's being under Nickelodeon. No, no, no. Change, I changed my mind. It should not be on Nickelodeon. Cartoon Bear is better. Yes, yeah, hard yep. folks. Thank you. Yep. And before the and we also got the Big Picture Show that premiered on November eighth, two thousand nine, and it was a pretty good film. It tied up all loose ends and. And after all that, the Eds are finally in the, 
finally be in love. Let's sing the song. And not only that, the eggs is gonna and some good, pretty good award. What is this type of awards? I won on a Rebel Uno Award, two Leo Awards, and a S O C A N Award. And I was nominated for four, four, four and two other awards. And and the show I had a, I had made made some really big bucks, bucks for being and for being on a show and being admired by children. And, and some of you guys already know that the Edge are basically scamming kids and out of other kid other others. And, and you're probably thinking that's a horrible lesson for kids. Yes, it is horrible, folks. But kids are not kids are smarter than they look. And, I mean, all the Edge scams just go horribly wrong. Yes. I mean, kids are smart. They know heard of what won't. Yes, kids are very intelligent. Now let's talk about the let's talk about, about the character, shall we? Let's first start with let's start with Eddie, Eddie, Eddie the leader of the Eds, the self-absorbed leader of the Eds. He, he is he is arrogant, selfish, loudmouthed, and impatient, greedy, hot-tempered, and and. and Hot temper. He loves money and job job burgers, which he likes to spend his ill-earned money on in dirty magazines as he hits in luck luck of the A. I mean dirty magazines. Woohoo! Yep. Uh, and so but and he's still but he's but he's a likable but he's that likable kind of guy. And in the movie he Finally, no realize his mistakes, Thanks. and even even claims that it was his fault. So yeah, he's grown as a character. Next, there's Double D, the smartest as of the eggs, and, and, and most polite, near nurtured, and consistent of the three, consider of the three. As a result, he's more socially accepted by the rest of the kids than Eddie. And Eddie usually acting as prank prank master, so often and the rest as, as the kids I, I have eyes. Yeah, the uh, yeah Double D, he's a smart kid, but he's not that athletic. He's not athletic. Yeah, but he, but well, when he does something wrong, he does something wrong. Yeah, he, he's more he's more bronze than than just more active. You gotta focus on stuff then. You gotta yeah. the noodle then, uh, you know. Huh? Then, uh, then probably everyone's favorite, Ed. Ed. And he is, he's, he's the strong airhead and usually quite a random dumb ox body at the other group. And Ed's got, Ed's extremely strong, extremely stupid, and extremely smelly. Yeah, he don't bathe, folks. And he has a tub of crazy. And, and, this is, the and this is my lucky cheese to show them. Sticky hat. Sticky hat. There's a flounder. Sticky hat. To 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 co. Sticky hat. Eddie. And I also like also a big fan of monster movies and monster comics. Thanks. And and, and he also has a spoiler brat of a sister named Sarah. We'll talk about her, her in a minute. Next there's Johnny 2x4. Uh, and his best pal Plank. Now I always think Plank was sentient, like he's a parasite to Johnny. But we might be overthinking it. Anyway, Johnny is a social awkward kid who bit who whose best friend is a piece of wood. That's just sad. I mean who goes around with a piece of wood for a best friend? Or any animal objects. Right? The coach? What's your language is? <laughs> Next is what do you think of Johnny? Hmm? What do you think of Johnny 2 by 4 and Plank? Kinda weird couple, don't you think? Yeah. Next is Jimmy. 
He always gets us all hurt in a crybaby and always rely on Sarah to get our jams. Oh, Sarah, owie! And we soon find out that they it's for the war goes braces around his face. And well and well I have yet to give Ed give Jimmy what he did in It Smells Like an Egg. But I'll talk about that later. Next there's Sarah. One of my least favorite characters on the show. Yeah. You and me, brother. Yep. And she's Ed's it's loud mouth abusive, spoiled, selfish little sister. I'm gonna tell oh, him. I'm gonna tell mom. Now, for some reason, she's she's stronger than Ed. Yeah, like remember all the remember that one time when Sarah threw Ed and the rest of the eggs into in a lake. Oh yeah, that, that was the best season ever. Yeah. Next there was next there was Kevin, and who's a big jerk. I I mean like call, I never in season talk to the eggs. He called them. Dorks! <laughs> Dorks? Yeah, he has a fair share of jerky moments. Like the one time where, where he found out Eddie's middle name. Sheldon. But well, actually it was Skipper. I mean Skipper, sorry, but it was Skipper. Yeah. Next is Rolf. Of one of my favorite so uh, background characters. And uh, most more characters. But anyway, Rolf, he can be really funny. Aha! Ah! Ah, we have yet to know what his nationality is. Is but wherever he's from, it really involves meat. Uh uh, that's my horse! Oh no, well, that's my horse! Like like this, double no. G! <laughs> oh, and he's the leader of the Urban Rangers. Urban Rangers! Today, well um, today, hey, you'll get the freedom of the free medallion! Next is Naz. Ooh, Anthony Wayne described her as a, as a, as a dumb blonde stereotype. stereotype. Yeah, that's basically what she is. It's in mostly eggs, it's fond over her. Yeah. And including Kevin and Jimmy. Including Kevin and Johnny. Plank, possibly Plank too. She called me dude. Yep. Next. Next, I met, next are the main antagonists, the Kanker Scissors, Lee, Hurry, and May. With the big lips. Yeah, I mean, these three are obsessed with the eggs. Yeah. I mean, what's all track about those three? I don't know. Yeah, well. Anyway, the Kankers are the main antagonists of the show, and most of the time they win against the eggs. But I think my favorite episode with them in it has to be the reverse psychology episode where the Eds turn the tables on them. Until Eddie Sweat gave them all and they looked and they turned the tables on to them. Funny episode. Yep. And of course, Eddie's brother. I think he is the best villain they had in any show. Say uncle, say what? <laughs> uncle! Uncle, uncle, uncle! Yep. We still found out that he was the reason Eddie was where he was. Ed, uh, Ed, Ed, Mr. Eddie's brother, don't you think that you, you, uh, uh, belittling him this whole way? He always been the little, I like you, girlfriend. You got spunk. Yep, but he got his comeuppance by getting a, by literally having a door slam in his face. And the characters possibly fun over him, too. <laughs> he got what he deserved. Yes. Why is your girlfriend wearing a sock on his head? Yep, and uh, let's talk about the each season, shall we? The first season was was pretty weak, especially with the eggs. Eggs that sound like what they are nowadays. It was a pretty weak season, but it was still good. Season two was a little funnier. Season three had more funny moments. Season four spectacular episodes. Season 5 was pretty decent too, especially when I had the Eds going to middle school. They go to middle school since when? Peach Creek Middle School? That's what you call it? Well, that's all for today. See you all next time. Farewell, friends. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check us out on Patreon, Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, fanfiction.net, Razzard, 
and Casting Call Club.